High fashion, like a yacht, G wagon, all the rover. I put some ice on you cause you got a cold. And I know I gotta keep my shorty on the go go. Drop that ass on the floor. Of our, our. Hello beautiful people and welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to move from black hair to a beautiful ash blonde and DY Hair 777 was kind enough to gift us with the wig for today's tutorial. So they sent over a beautiful black ear to ear lace frontal wig. It is in the length 18 inches and it is a HD lace frontal wig which i love it simply means that everything looks so much more realistic and is so much more easier to install the wig so it is 18 inches and i'll leave all the information in the description box for you guys to be able to place your order from them i love their hair quality it is amazing and when you're going from black to blonde especially a light ash blonde it's important to have good quality hair as you can see the lace comes pre-plucked but it does not come with bleach knots so i will be bleaching the knots as well the wig does have three combs in the front um this is for you guys who need a little bit more security it does also have an adjustable strap and an extra comb at the back just for even more security so the first step is to place our wig onto a mannequin head this is very important. Make sure that you've sectioned off the hair. And I'll be starting at the back of the wig using our bleach from the Safkin Hair Emporium. It is important to decide on the color before you get started. It's just going to make everything much easier. And I've decided that I do want some dimension in today's hair. So I'm going to be starting at the back of the wig. And I've decided to leave the roots black. So you want to section off the hair. Um, this is just going to make it easier for you to work. And you want to wear gloves. I am wearing cleaning gloves today simply because I'm going to be using bleach multiple times. I do not want to have any mistake where the bleach touches my skin. It's important to protect your hands when using chemicals. Bleach can be very damaging to your skin. So please use gloves. You do not have to use um, cleaning gloves like I am. You can literally just use normal gloves. So I'm applying it from the back of the wig to the front of the wig. And I'm going in with 40 volume, leaving it on for about one hour. You can leave it on for a short amount of time if you want to. And if you want the lift to be um, a little faster, a little more harsh and to give you a brighter color, you can actually take some normal foil. Uh, this is not any special foil. This is literally normal foil. You can get um, no name foil from your local store any type of foil will work and then you just want to take the wig and carefully place it onto the foil and then take the foil wrap it on top of the wig and you do not want to squish it down you just want to make sure that once you've pulled it over the wig that you've gone in and sealed it all the way around so that no air is coming in just that it can cook inside and that will literally just help the wig lift faster so you get a brighter result um, with less time or you can use the same amount of time and just get a brighter color so your your blonde will be much lighter than if you were not putting it inside the foil so i'm going to leave this for one hour once it's ready i'm literally going to take it out of the foil discard the foil and then i'm going to wash out the bleach please make sure when you're washing the bleach that you are very thorough um you will see that none of the black roots have been um tinted by the bleach that's because i did not push it down when it was in the foil so that's why i say do not push it down you want to make sure that you're not getting rid of all the work that you just did so i'm going to wash it out with tap water cold tap water literally just rinsing out all the bleach and then now this is the first result from one round of bleach so one round of 40 volume bleach and I am actually going to go back inside with my bleach again but you'll notice that this time around I have two different um, developers I have 30 volume peroxide and 40 volume peroxide mixed in two separate um, batches so this 30 volume is going to be used for the low lights and the 40 volume is going to be used for the highlights i'm going to be starting off with my 40 volume because i want to have a money piece in the front so i want the front piece to be um, much lighter than the rest of the wig please make sure that you mix your 
um, mixture really really well you do not want to have any lumps or bumps and the instructions are on the packaging so once again i'm going to need some foil but you guys will see what i do with that towards the end of the video so i've got my wig on my mannequin and i want to make sure i've got the middle of my frontal part so the part where the lace is and you really want to put it either on your head or on your mannequin and really measure out how much of this front piece you want to be lighter i am using 40 volume and when i get to the roots i'm really making sure that i feather it out i do not want it to just have a harsh line of demarcation and i'm flipping it over to the front as well just to make sure that the bleach is fully saturated you'd rather be extremely generous with your bleach than to be stingy with it okay so now this front piece i want it to be lighter than everything else so i'm starting with it and then i'm going to place it in my foil and literally wrap the foil around it this is just going to ensure that it processes much faster than the rest of the wig and that gives me that really bright color that i'm trying to get um, with this but you don't have to do this this just makes it easier when you're um, dye, uh, bleaching the rest of the wig so I have a clip on it just to make sure that it does not fall down as I'm working on the rest of the wig now for the top part of the wig this is the part where it has the frontal I am weaving it out and selecting special parts of the frontal these are going to be my highlights and once again I'm using my 40 volume and then placing it in pieces of foil I'm going to be doing this to both sides of the wig just that it can balance out you guys can see how blonde it already is so if you do not want to um get a lighter color you can literally just leave it this way and style your hair but i wanted a lighter color and i wanted it to have dimension i didn't want it to just be one color so right here i am teasing the hair just so that it can really have a nice flow i do not want it to just have a line of demarcation i really want the new highlighted parts to really just seep in and look flawless at the back of the wig i applied my 30 volume so for the front part and the highlights I used 40 volume then for the back of the wig I used 30 volume because I want the entire wig to be lighter so I left that for 30 to 45 minutes and then now I am re removing all of my foil and I'm going to wash all of this out um, once again I'll be using just cold tap water to wash this out and it's very very easy now this is what it looks like after that entire process you guys can see that this hair is doing so well i'm telling you guys dy hair 777 has fantastic quality hair um, the hair really kept up with this entire bleaching process and you guys will see there's so much that i did to this hair and yet it kept its flow and it looks absolutely amazing once again this is an ear to ear lace frontal wig in the length 18 inches and it is an hd lace frontal wig so if you guys pay special attention you will see that i'm now going in with hair dye not bleach um this is from squats off and it is the palette deluxe collection i am using two different colors i'm starting off with a darker color for the roots the reason i went in with this root color is that i really wanted to ensure that the roots are all the same length so sometimes when you're bleaching you go a little bit too low and you'll see that um the hair is not consistent now you don't have to do this this is really just the perfectionist in me i want the roots to all be the same length i want them all to be the same color and i also wanted it to move from this black color to a nice dark chocolate brown root i didn't necessarily just want it to be black than blonde and that's why i'm going in and i'm really making sure that i'm just working on the roots only and i'm feathering it out i don't want to have this like weird line of demarcation okay now from that money piece that is the front piece that i bleached initially with 40 volume in the foil i will be using a lighter blonde color on it so this is permanent hair dye some of you may be wondering why did you not use the she hair dye range uh, first of all we don't have a light blonde like this but our she hair dye is semi-permanent and i needed a permanent hair dye color so if you look at the back of the wig and some of you guys won't care about this when you're coloring your wigs but you know i'm a perfectionist i really try to take as much pride in my work as possible and i did not like all those brassy tones and the inconsistency with the roots you guys can see there's like an orange shade over there that it goes into this beautiful silver blonde i really wanted it to just flow in i wanted it to look beautiful and seamless whether you tied it up um even though it is a frontal wig you probably won't tie it up but i i just really wanted it to be flawless 
all around the wig so you don't have to do this i'm doing this because i do not like all of that brassiness so i'm making sure that i'm going throughout the entire wig from the back to the front and covering all of that brassiness i am covering it with a dark brown this dark brown is just going to allow me to have a nice gradient from the black roots that we did not bleach that is how the hair came and then going into a dark brown then into this ash blonde so i'm doing this throughout the wig wherever i'm seeing these brassy tones that is exactly what i am doing and making sure that we don't have any of these brassy tones anymore i really wanted to get rid of them and just have it look nice you know um if you are lazy you can just do it to the frontal part this is the only part people are really going to see but if you really want to take pride in your work if you really want your wig to be excellent you want it to be beautiful um i would definitely suggest just taking the time to go right through um permanent hair dye is not the cheapest especially when you buy good quality so if you are on a budget you don't have to do this okay so now for select parts of the wig i am doing the roots and also coloring the rest of the hair till the tips now this is select parts is simply because i wanted to add even more highlights and lowlights i did not want them to be harsh but i just wanted the hair to have some dimension so once i've applied it to the select parts it's not the whole wig you guys can really see it out when i'm trying to wash it out you guys can see how it looks um, you can see the lighter parts and the darker parts just to add some character to the hair and this is how it looks in the basin when i'm washing it out with conditioner so this is what it looks like when you have not straightened it i've just left it to air dry and i'm going to be using my shiro hair serum just to give this hair some body and movement and also this makes it easier when you want to color the hair when you're working on straight hair that's been straightened it makes it easier so this is how the hair looks after straightening it and i still was not happy um so i decided to go in with more permanent hair dye i wanted to make it a little bit more ashy but I had the clear on nice and easy and I thought about it. I was like, this is going to be very expensive for you guys to copy. So I said, let me try the TiVo Touch. And this is honestly where I went wrong. Now the clear roll, um, permanent hair dye is around 140, 150 Rand. And the TiVo Touch is around 20, 25 Rand, maybe even 30 Rand. It's very cheap, but it seriously damaged the hair. This is really where I went wrong and i regret it if you guys look at the roots right now you can see the difference they're melting in they're beautiful it looks flawless um and that's why i was doing the roots again with a dark brown so now i went on with this ash blonde and oh my gosh this is really where i went wrong yeah i regret this um yeah guys you really get what you pay for and yeah this this really damaged their hair I wish I hadn't used this and DIY Hair 777 has fantastic quality hair and I know what went wrong was the quality of the hair dye that I used. So I wanted it to go from that black to that chocolate brown that we applied last time to a little bit of an ashy color then into this um, really platinum, well it's not platinum, this really light ashy blonde. So I wanted it to have more of a darker ash blonde from that black chocolate brown to this this ash blonde that I'm applying right now and then going into that really nice ash blonde as well I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying but I do regret this step I feel like it was absolutely not necessary um it made a difference but it's it's a bad difference so this is what it looked like you guys can already see that was a bit of a problem I washed it out and then this was the final result I had to cut it I cut it much longer so it's around 16 inches right now but it still looks beautiful so that's how I got this color thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video